Police in Carbon County searching for the person behind a sudsy situation. Somebody vandalized a fountain with soap. It happened more than once in the past two days. Newswatch 16's Amanda Eustace shows us the soapy mess in Lehighton. Some may call it the perfect bubble bath, but for borough officials here in Lehighton, this soapy mess is a nuisance. Borough workers say someone dumped soap in Lehighton's lower park fountain on South Street, causing it to fill with a thick white layer of bubbles. A lot of people see it as just a harmless prank. However, uh, the one problem is, is again, we have to have manpower to, to go out uh, from the borough to clean up all that foam. Officials say it all started Wednesday. They were called about the mess and borough workers came to clean up the fountain, but vandals struck again overnight. Brianna Pissarro and her son Colson like to stop by the fountain to toss coins into it. It was hard to see where they landed through all the bubbles. It definitely ruins the aesthetic of the park, um, and it's a shame that people think that they need to do this just for fun. I mean, it is silly, but at the same time, it ruins it for the people who are coming through. While the people that did this may think they got away with some good, clean fun, police officers actually say throwing soap in the fountain is a crime. There is a price to pay uh, because of the fact that we do have to clean that system and we have to make sure that uh, those pipes are resistant to the chemicals that are in the uh, soap because they're more designed for water. Detective Matthew Arner with the Lehighton Police Department says if caught, the vandals will get a ticket for criminal mischief. Crazy. I don't know why somebody would do that because it's like they cleaned it out the first time yeah. and then to they said they were going to shut it off, but I don't know. It's like back again. We just hope that the actor comes clean <laughs> and uh, comes forward and, and we'll, we'll take care of it. Anyone with information on the vandalism is asked to call the Lehighton Police Department. I'm Andy Eustace, Newswatch 16, Carbon County.